it's good to see you. Today, we're going to be taking a look at outfits of the week. I'm going to be showing you five outfits that I have put together for the coming week, just with stuff that I had in the closet. Um, I try to show you different stuff every time. This one is going to be more for cooler weather since we're, we're into fall now and we're moving into uh, chilly days and nice brisk evenings. And I move into more um, just cooler colors, you know, kind of put the summer stuff away. Sadly, it's always kind of sad to put that stuff away, but we have to do it eventually. So I'm going to start out with Monday's outfit. Now, this outfit does incorporate some pieces that I just got. I just purchased this necklace at the little thrift store. Isn't that beautiful? It's iridescent. These little glass beads are iridescent, but they also have sort of a pinkish tint to them. And then mixed in, we have these little glass beads here that look like little pearls. And they are also kind of a pinkish color. I love this necklace. It has three strands to it. It's so pretty. I, I got this for $2 at the little thrift store. And I paired with that, this pretty little stretchy bracelet. Look at that. It has these sort of a hammered effect, little silver pieces, little metal pieces here. And it is stretchy, which I like. So I thought that would look nice with these little beads on this necklace here. Now this necklace, I don't know who made it. There's no, there's no name on it or anything. I really like this necklace. I think it's just made to look sort of vintage, but it's actually not. It has a little hook clasp right here and probably about two and a half inches of adjustable chain. It's just so pretty. Look at those colors. It's just beautiful. I spotted this while I was waiting to pay for some stuff. So I, I really love this necklace. So for the top here, we have this pink cardigan, and I also purchased this at the little thrift store. This was $3, this cute little pink cardigan. The tag has been cut out, so I don't know who made it, but it has this pretty, kind of like a little zebra stripe design on the front. It's kind of, it's kind of subtle, but you can sort of see that it has these little stripes on it, or maybe it's like a palm frond. It's like a little fern or some sort of big leaf or something. I don't know, but it's on the sleeves too. This cardigan has three quarter length sleeves and little cute little pink plastic buttons going down. And with that, I have paired a pink, a lighter pink sleeveless top from Mossimo. And it has a little bit of a pink metallic thread that runs through it. And you can see that this part is a little bit more fitted down here at the waist right here, this part. And to go with that, I have the cutest little gray skirt. Look at this thing, it is so precious. I found this at the little thrift store as well. This was, uh, I think this was only $2 for this skirt. It's very cute. This is just the most precious little skirt. Look at that. This is a wool blend skirt. It is fully lined. I love these little buttons going down the side. They're just accents. They don't actually unbutton or anything. They're just decorative. But it's so cute. Look at this. This thing is just the cutest little skirt. I think it was $2. So yeah, for the skirt and the cardigan and the necklace, it was only $7 for all of these pieces here. This is a Talbot's skirt right here. So we have the little I, lo I love pink and gray together. I just think they look so cute. So we have this cute little skirt with the pink uh, cardigan. We have blush and bashful here for our tops. And then to go with that, I just have some little black boots right here. Just some cute little black booties. <laughs> yes, and for, oh, the earrings. I didn't show you the earrings. I thought this would look cool. So I have my necklace there. 
and I wanted a pair of earrings that would look really good with this necklace so I found this vintage pair of little clip-on earrings they have these little glass iridescent beads in them so I thought a pair of these little earrings here would look really cute with this necklace here and the top and the skirt they're so cute I love these I like to wear them every chance I get they don't go with a lot of stuff that I wear especially in the summertime but as I get on over to fall and winter it seems like they they go with more of the stuff that I tend to wear so I take advantage of that so that is my outfit for Monday the outfit for Tuesday is all about brown we have so much brown which you know we just did a video where I I think I, the brown was like the theme for all of the outfits well I think brown is definitely the theme for Tuesday's outfit now I love this cardigan look at this it has these little these little links here that are sewn onto the cardigan I love them look at that they go down both sides and there's a little cord with gold thread that's sort of woven through the little links now the sleeves have these gold thread stripes going all the way down these are nice long sleeves here nice and warm very cozy and with that I have just paired this dark brown sleeveless top here from Versona this cardigan is from Christine Philippe, California. And it's a little bit shorter than this, but that's okay. I wear a lot of stuff like that. So when I was looking for accessories to go with this, I wanted to go with gold, but nothing super shiny. So I have this sort of a matte gold. It's like an antique gold looking necklace right here that I found at Goodwill, I think. For the earrings, I decided to go with these. Now these are some cute little hoops. They have a spring to them, so you just open it up and you just put it on your earlobe like that. It's very comfortable. They just rest on your earlobe, but they're not super shiny. They're not like a, you know, a brassy looking gold color. And I picked these three bracelets to go together right here. Two of them have wooden beads. Actually, I think they're all three wooden beads. One, one bracelet here has these sort of burnished gold beads and then I've picked these two bracelets with these beautiful dark brown beads to go on either side of it so you would wear it like this and so that's going to incorporate this dark brown color and that gold color and to go with that I have a lovely pair of dark dark brown slacks and these are just some Express Design Studio slacks. Just some little flat front, dark, very dark brown slacks. I love these because they're super comfortable. Um, it's like a polyester cotton rayon blend that's wonderful because it doesn't really wrinkle very much. And they always just look so nice and professional, but they're not uncomfortable at all. They're super comfortable. And I thought they would look really nice with this. So it kind of goes along with the dark brown of that sleeveless top and I think it looks really good with the gold and the ivory color in that and that little cardigan there so and then to go with all of that I have my trusty little duck head dark brown shoes and the little buckle is even sort of that same goldish color to go with the uh, the cardigan here yeah I've, I've kind of ventured away from shoes like this. I don't have a lot of shoes left like this, but these are so comfortable and they're so adorable. These little leather dark brown shoes and I just love them. So we have our pretty necklace here. See it's not very long. It has a little bar clasp here. I don't know who made it. It's really pretty though. So we have this pretty necklace. I love that. The outfit for Wednesday is actually very simple, but I think it's very sassy. <laughs> I have this, look at the pattern on this dress. I love, I love the pattern. It is just so much fun and has all these cool colors in it. You have gray, 
green, white, uh, sort of a mauve color, orange. It's just so pretty. And then up here in that mauve color, you have this cowl neck up here. So we do, we have some fun little accessories to go with this too. This dress was made by Air, Aria? A, well, no, it looks like Axia, A-X-Y-E-H. I don't know. I've never heard of that. I've never heard of them, but it looks like there's these little faux sleeves. This dress is just so cute. I love it. It's a wool blend, but it's not scratchy at all, and it's so warm. And it has these long sleeves. And I decided to pair this with pearls. I don't think I've ever worn pearls with this dress before. But I have these little pearl hoop earrings. They're little clip-on earrings with little pearls on them. And I thought they would look really nice with this long pearl necklace here. It's a little faux pearl necklace. This dress doesn't really have a shape. It's kind of straight like that. So I thought it would be fun to pair it with this neat little belt here. It has these big links to it. This belt is so cool. Look at that lobster claw clasp. It has an enormous lobster claw clasp. And these fun little links. Look at all that adjustable chain. So you could actually, you know, put it wherever you want. You can have it kind of, you know, slung low. You could put it up higher. You could do whatever you want with it. And it's just, it's, it's such a fun little versatile belt. I found it at Goodwill. I find these at Goodwill all the time. And then I picked this pretty little bracelet to go with it. It's stretchy. I thought the darker colors in this bracelet would look really pretty, especially with the darker gray in this dress right here. So I thought that would look really good. I love these little multifaceted oval bits too. Look at that. And it's super comfortable because it's so stretchy. And I love it. Yeah, so this is just a fun little cowl neck dress. I would say it's basically knee length. It's like a knee length dress, but it's very warm. Even in the winter time, it's nice and cozy. You could wear some tights with it or something like that. Yeah. And to go with that, I have these cute little boots and these boots are so comfortable. They're also sort of, I don't know, they're kind of grayish looking, but I thought they would look really cute with this cute little dress. Oh my goodness. So you have the belt, the long, the long necklace is great because it's going to come under this cowl neck and you'll be able to see it. And this bracelet and my little earrings and my shoes. And that is the outfit for Wednesday. And now we have the outfit for Friday. Here we have this this top. I love, I love this top. I saw this at Goodwill one day and I spotted it and I was really drawn to these little plastic pieces here. They're made to look like little rubies, I guess, or little garnets. See, it goes across here and then you have this little v-neck thing here. And it's from Joseph A. Cascasse Silk. And it's such a beautiful dark red. And I, I picked it up and I looked at it and I put it back and I walked away and I went home and I could not stop thinking about this top, <laughs> but I couldn't get back out there for another couple days. So it was driving me crazy. Like I have to have that top. And finally I got back out there and fortunately it was still there. I'm surprised it was still there because I fully expected it to be gone, but it was still there and I bought it. And I love to pair this simple little necklace with it. These are just little glass beads. They're kind of the same shade of red. And to go with that, we have two stretchy bracelets here. We have one in kind of a dark red. These are little pottery beads. And then I have a black plastic beaded bracelet here. So I have a theme of red and black in my bracelets there. And look at the earrings I picked. They're so cute. I have these long, dangly, crazy earrings. I 
love these earrings and I don't really have anything to wear them with. I have had them forever. And then I realized they would look so cute with this little outfit. Look at these dingle dangles. Little dingle balls. They're so much fun. Look at these little plastic balls. They're so cute, but I don't really have a lot of stuff that's that color that it would look right with it. And to go with that, we have this lovely skirt. Now it's a very dark color. It's like black and brown, but it also incorporates some of that beautiful red. And it has different layers. It has like a lace layer underneath it. It's like a very hippie looking 60s skirt or something. I just got this at the little thrift store for three dollars and it has this wide waistband up here and it's so pretty and it kind of just sort of flares out down here at the bottom it's so cute it's so flirty and cute and i thought it would look really good with this right here so we have this pretty dark red top and this cool little skirt when I saw this skirt at the little thrift store, this top was the first thing I thought of. I thought this would look so good with this skirt. Oh my gosh. So yeah. I'm so happy. I think these are gonna look really cute together. And to go with that, I have just a simple pair of just some black little heels here from Van Eli. Just some cute little black heels to go with that. Yeah, so that's why I went with the red and black bracelets to kind of go with the skirt there and the and the top. So there we have it. Our fun little outfit for Thursday. And then finally for Friday, we have a fun little outfit that incorporates my favorite pattern, which is Paisley. I have this cute, oh so cute Paisley top. I love this thing. This was another top I spotted at Goodwill and I looked at it and looked at it and I kind of felt like I wanted it, but I ended up putting it back and I kept thinking about it and I went back the next day and I couldn't find it right away. So I just kept looking and looking through that section. It was in a Goodwill that had a huge section of women's long sleeve shirts so I had to look through the whole thing and somebody had moved it. It was way down far away from where I had spotted it but I found it and I was so happy. It has this beautiful dark purple background and then all this beautiful paisley stuff on it. I love it. It's so much fun. It's from Jones, New York. Signature. And to pair with that, I have a combination of three bracelets. This sort of works in a little bit of the colors from the top. I have this sort of a bluish purple and... This one is also sort of a plum color. Then I have this wooden beaded bracelet that has this sort of a turquoise color bead in it. And we do have some turquoise in, the, in this pattern here. So it's just so much fun. Um, I went through some of my tops because I wanted to be able to wear something under it, but I didn't really have anything that looked right the colors in here. So I just went with this off-white sleeveless top from Chico's. And this, this necklace is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I have had this necklace for so many years, but it has sort of a brass look to it. And it has these beautiful enameled pieces in here. And they, some of them have a bit of purple to them, a bit of teal. And I just thought this would be so pretty with that top. So I spotted it. I was looking through my jewelry for a different necklace and I saw this one and I thought, no, that one looks better. So there we have this pretty little paisley top. And I wanted to be able, I didn't want to have to leave it buttoned up. I wanted to be able to maybe open it up or tie it like 
cinch it down here like tight right here like this so I wanted to wear something under it and then for the earrings I have this little pair here these are some little uh, dingle dangle earrings I love them because they're sort of that same sort of brass color as the necklace and they have sort of they look like hammered metal so they're not super shiny so I felt that they would go really well with this top as well as the necklace because they're not brassy looking or anything like that so I do have this little cute little pair of earrings to go with that top and then I paired this with just a very simple little corduroy skirt and the skirt is so comfortable you know, I thought it would look nice. We do have sort of a mustard yellow color in that paisley top. And I thought it would pair well with this nice little brown corduroy skirt. The skirt is so versatile. I wear it with so many things in the fall and winter. And they look good with all different sorts of shoes. You can wear knee length boots. You can wear little ankle boots. You can really do just about anything with it. So we have these pieces here. To go with that, I do have a pair of boots. Look at these cute little boots. Oh my goodness. I love these. They're just adorable. They're a little heavy though. <laughs> these are from Blowfish. And they're just some little mid-calf little boots. And I thought they would look really cute with this skirt. And maybe some, some tights or something. I don't know. But I thought it would be a fun little addition to go along with my fun little paisley button-down shirt. It's just so much fun. It's just such a pretty, it's just such a beautiful pattern. So we have that. And we do have our three stretchy bracelets to go with that. There. And our pretty necklace and our little dangle earrings here and the skirt as well and there we have our fun little final outfit for Friday thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed getting to see my five outfits of the week um, it's always fun putting together these little outfits with the shoes and the accessories and everything and I love getting to show them to you. So thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon.